All right, here we have Tetralogy of Fallot, a classic congenital heart condition and a common cause of cyanosis in newborns. Now it's called Tetralogy because of the four key defects. Just prove it. P for pulmonary stenosis, which blocks blood from reaching the lungs. R for right ventricular hypertrophy, as of course the muscle of the right ventricle works harder to pump. O for overriding aorta, as normally the aorta takes blood from the left ventricle, but in this condition, because of the large ventricular septal defect, the aorta takes blood from both of the ventricles. And as I just mentioned V, ventricular septal defect, a hole between the two ventricles that allows blood to mix. So these four make up the tetralogy. Now for exams, it's important to remember that the degree of pulmonary obstruction is the biggest determining factor in how sick the baby gets. A big obstruction leads to a cyanotic baby, and a small obstruction leads to a pink baby. As a final point, tetralogy of Fallot can occur in kids with DeGeorge syndrome or Down syndrome, but it also can occur in totally healthy babies. And the best part, thanks to surgery, over 90% of kids with tetralogy of Fallot can grow up to live full active lives. All right, that's it for tetralogy of Fallot. Take care.